All right, hello everyone. I am Crota going over some of the balance changes. This has just been announced and well, gonna go over them. Over them. These are a lot of just my gut reactions. Do not take it um, for what it is or well, take it for what it is as a commentator, a caster, a little bit of a human bias since I do play human and we'll, we'll see how all of that does go down. Let's take a look. All right, uh, no, I do not want to update that. All right. Um, first things first, I'm just going to read through some of these hero balance changes and let's see how things go. Uh, Archmage. All right. Water elemental neutral change. Hit points went down. Damage went up. Um, dispelling, abolish magic, things like that will be much more effective. Um, but, you know, the, the damage that they deal will also be higher. Brilliance aura. A big loss there. Um as you can see, the amount of a mana lost is significant. It went from um, pretty much 1.5 to 1.25, and then 2.25 to 1.75. Yeah, so that mana loss is going to be, um, well, very detrimental. And I don't know if you will notice it very much on the heroes, but you will definitely feel it on the casters as well. Uh, the casters not being able to cast their spells nearly as much. Yeah, I thought it was one mana a second, two mana a second, three mana a second. Uh, but it, is it at 7.75? Yeah, then it turned into 0 0.75, 1 1.5, 2.25. Um, now it feels like, well, at least the level one ability is still at 0.75 mana a second. Um, it, it really falls off at level two and then drops off significantly at level three. Mass teleport increased the area of effect. Well, any straggler unit... Um, will now be taken with it. Blade Master reduced agility. Okay, less damage, less armor. A Lich um, reduced slow duration. All right, so Lich's frost armor is not always going to be a as detrimental. Uh, Demon Hunter reduced reduced agility and metamorphosis. So Superman mode no longer as strong. That is going to be significant as it, it did seem to last a very, very long time and the only real way to counter metamorphosis well, was to walk away. Yes, Arya? Okay. Keeper of the Grove. All right. No one really used the Force of Nature. Goblin, Alchemist, the Healing Spray. Yeah, that, that nerf was incoming. The Healing Spray uh, heal was absolutely bonkers. We'll see how all that works. Transmute. Um, now, you actually get more gold than the cost of the unit. So, wow. You can transmute a, a, a knight and then train up a knight and have a little bit left over. That's going to be nice. Um, and it also, the big, big difference here is that um, Transmute is going to work much better with Potion of Mana. You're able to buy a Potion of Mana and then use the Potion of Mana on an expensive unit and then have enough gold to most likely cover that Potion of Mana. That's going to be the big difference there. Goblin Tinker um, Armor is reduced. All right, Pocket Factor. Uh, pocket Factory has heavy armor instead of normal, so it means that um, that it's not going to be melee units that want to take it down, but uh, range units as well. Engineering upgrade, all right. Things that really don't see that big of a change, except for maybe Night Elf who, who used the Goblin Tinker. Naga Sea Witch Mana Shield. Um, this this should have been a long time coming. Uh, the Mana Shield was always an ineffective way uh, of being used now mana shield actually makes sense where a potion of mana actually provides more hit points than a potion of healing so yes it makes it better are we going to see it be used most likely not um cold arrows um just far too far too powerful uh fork lightning to finish off some units i i, I think this i think that change was necessary or not necessary, um, and brings it in line, but it's not going to be used that much. Pan Pandarin Brewmaster, increased mana cost, reduced the amount of damage. All right, very nice. Uh, yeah, Breath of Fire was rather powerful. <laughs> All right. Uh, human balance changes. Wow, this is, this is going to get long. Flying Machines has more hit points, 
costs more and does more damage. Um, I think that would. I think this is nice, especially in the battle going up against destroyers, um, having them cost a little bit more, but having them be able to take a little bit more damage since both of them were glass cannons versus glass glass cannons. Um, that is a very significant increase in damage. So flying machines actually feel like a very strong counter to destroyers. And it now feels like destroyers have to have mana in order to really be able to fight back against those flying machines. Militia, decretion of time, all right? Mortar teams, um, the, the splash damage is now significantly reduced, all right? Uh, priest, dispel magic, increase the range, added a five second cooldown. All right, so you actually need more than two priests if you want to dispel a large um, a large area, and it also applies to the other guards there. All right, siege engine, uh, base stats increase supply cost from three to four. I know a lot of night elf players who uh, or people who don't like human will like this change. Also note that with the increase in supply cost, the amount of experience that the siege engines are giving are going to be higher as well. So it goes from a grunt experience to a knight experience. Um, spell steal, cooldown increase from 3 to 6 seconds. All right, that's great. I'm, I'm just talking about the patch notes. I'm reading. You can watch. All right. Orb of Fire, increase hero bonus damage from 5 to 10. Well, Orb of Fire was one of the weakest orbs in general, right? Um, you never saw it. Orb of Venom, you saw. Orb of Lightning, you saw. Uh, Orb of Corruption, you always saw. And now Orb of Fire, um, that is, that's actually useful. Um, the increase hero damage from 5 to 10. Okay, that's great. Increase the gold cost. Okay. Increase the splash damage radius. One one I I guess I need to practice this, but I I don't think anyone noticed that the hero did splash damage when it had an orb of fire before, and increasing it by less than ten percent means that it may proc now. Finally, I I don't know. This this just seems a little bit too low. Um, I don't know if it actually is going to be effective against air. We'll we'll just have to wait and see. All right, human upgrades. Um, well, I should call this human downgrades. Defend, um, now significantly weaker. Um, uh, yeah. Human yeah, human downgrades. <laughs> Flack can't... Thank you for laughing at my jokes. Oh, ah, how did I go that far down? Nope. All right, so, uh, let's see. Uh, flying machines, militias, human balance. All right, tech... Okay, flak cannons, you can get it with keep now, so you don't need to go to castle. That's good. Um, in the battle against tier 3. Swap command card location. All right, doesn't make a difference. Fragmentation shards. All right, reduced reduced the damage, so mortar teams are not going to be that great. More masonry costs has now been increased. All right, orc balance changes. Bat Oh, oh, I hit the add reply button. That's why. All right. Orc balance changes. All right, so bat rider increased bonus damage. All right, that that was necessary. Berserker increased hit points twenty five, um, um, from four fifty to four seventy five. All right, uh, headhunter base stats increased hit points. So the headhunter and the berserkers have now been increased. Increased regeneration upgrade. All right, so that's going to be good for them. Shaman increased hit points. Increased bonus, da increased damage eight to nine to ten to eleven. Why is it called bonus damage? Isn't it just increased damage? Purge mana cost. All right, that makes sense since shamans. Um, well, purge was very, very rarely used. Spirit Walker changed hotkey from T to W. All right. A, a lot of people might want to switch that. It just means going from the ethereal form to not. It's now T instead of W, it's because W is often weight. Um, I guess Torin Totem Tech Tree now unlocks with Stronghold instead of Fortress. Oh wow. Um, okay, now train Spirit Walkers and, and Spirit Walkers upgrades. Swapped command card location, so Spirit Walkers are first button. Okay. What else first buttons? Okay, so... Oh wait, Torin, Torin Totem. Oh wow, that's a big change. So Spirit Walkers are now trained from the Torin Totem instead of the... Oh wow, that... 
really strong. No, it it it, it means that, uh, no, not the voodoo lounge, but the spirit lodge no longer trains them. That that's a big change. I'll I'll have to see, and and think about that a little bit. Nope. Huh? Sp yeah, the, yeah, so the Spirit Lodge no longer trains Spirit Walkers. What does spirit... Uh, shamans and uh, witch doctors. Witch doctors? Yep. Good. Okay, I need to get through this. We have 15 minutes. Don't ask any more questions. Sorry. All right. Orc item. Scroll of speed no longer applies to Goblin Sappers. I think that would be very important. Berserker upgrades. Decreased damage debuff from 50% to 40. All right. So they no longer take swap command card location. All right. Burning oil. Okay. Moved liquid fire, reduced attack speed. All right. Liquid fire d did make it a little bit too strong that that the attack speed debuff. Uh, reinforced offenses. Re okay. No longer costs too much. Tech tree unlocks with stronghold instead of fortress. All right. So you can get reinforced offenses faster to protect yourself uh, from all of that magic attack, protecting your burrows. Spiked barricades, cost reduced. Uh, troll regeneration, okay, that's been swapped. All right. Acolytes, more hit points, more regeneration, more armor, and increased movement speed. Wait, what? So acol well, acolytes now move faster, have more armor, and regenerate more hit points. Yeah, they're much stronger than all of the other workers. But then again, um, the Acolyte should be staying inside the base anyways. Destroy your reduced hit points and reduced Orb of Annihilation bonus damage from 20 to 15. All right, so Destroyers are no longer at, as beefy. They're going to be easier to take down. And the Destroyer versus Flying Machine battle is now heavily, heavily, heavily in favor of Flying Machines, especially with that debuff there. Frostworms. Uh, reduced frost breath attack duration on heroes, all right, from 10 to 3 seconds. Makes it so that frost worms don't automatically shut down that blade master. Um, just trying to get that one frost worm out. Necromancer cripple, all right, reduced mana cost. Unholy frenzy, reduced strain. So it actually makes sense to unholy frenzy your units a little bit more. Raise dead, increase summon duration. All right. So if you want to go for a necro wagon strategy, that works out. Obsidian statues, easier to take out. Skeleton warriors have increased hit points. Skeletal mages also have increased hit points. Undead buildings. Oh, the gold mine has re has a slightly reduced blight and also reduced cost. All right, so the reduced blight means that it's no longer you're not no longer going to be able to easily build a base with it, but the reduced cost will should help undead players expand. Um also reduced costs for the necropolis. And we reduce the build duration. Also, what's interesting to note is that the necropolis is also allows you to build supply or food for undead that doesn't cost well. It costs less lumber. What's up? Money. Yep. Ziggurat has now increased hit points, so sappers will not be able to shut them down super quickly. Orb of corruption. Um, decreased armor reduction from five to four. That's probably a long time coming. Um, does definitely help. Uh, Sacrificial Skull no longer requires Graveyard to purchase, so you can use it. Base stats decrease stock regeneration from 60 to 45. All right, so they want undead players to use the, the Sacrificial Skull more. Cannibalize moved, okay. Decreased duration. Okay, so oh, so you, you regenerate more hit points faster. Um when when cannibalizing. All right, so maybe we'll see ghouls and abominations cannibalize. Devour magic. Damage against summon units has been reduced. All right, so water elementals are still going to be able to fight back. Disease cloud. Reduced damage from 1 to 2. From 1 to 2 per second. Reduced duration. Okay, so it no longer lasts forever. And it pretty much... Um, it, it doesn't negate... Not, uh, negate uh, faster healing. Ex uh, now generates crypt fiend corpses instead of ghoul corpses. Uh, all right. Um, I'm not quite sure what the difference is between crypt fiend corpses and ghoul corpses. I, I know what they are. I don't know what the impact on the game is. I know what a crypt fiend is and I know what a ghoul is. Uh, my daughter's trying to correct me. Ah. 
All right. I know you've been listening to Warcraft 3 all your life, but that doesn't mean you're better than me. Okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, I've been playing it since college, but you've you've been listening to me all your life. Frenzy. All right. Longevity. Increased duration. Increased cost. Okay. Skeletal mastery. Halls of the dead. Uh, move command card location. All right. Night off balance. Archer. Increased hit points. Ooh. So archers are no longer going to be as uh, gonna, yeah as weak. Improve improve bow command card. Okay. The swap location. Chimeras. Decrease half damage blast radius. All right. Drew to the Claw, decreased bonus damage. Yes, I've been saying that Drew to the Claw, claw uh, damage, they, they are much stronger as a tier 3 melee unit compared to a knight. Um, they, and basically had more damage than a knight, had more hit points, had more functionality, always won in a one-on-one -on -one fight. This, this switches that just a little bit. Druid of the Talon, increased cost. So it's not going to be mass dots anymore. Fairy Fire, reduced duration. All right. Abolish Magic. Oh, reduced against summon units. Oh, so Water Elementals are still going to be very effective against Dryads. I had thought with their lower hit points that the Dryads would just be able to eat them up. Um, not so much. So that's a bigger drop-off. Increased um, bonus damage. It's increased damage. Don't use bonus damage. D -d 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 Increased damage from 36 to 53. So Glaive Throwers are now actually useful in terms of their damage. Very useful, in fact, and very scary. Especially the fact that Glaive Throwers are a tier 1 siege unit. You may actually see um, a Demon Hunter... A demon hunter, archer with maybe another melee hero, maybe a beast master with glaive throwers, like as a tier two tier two push, hiring the beast master immediately, having the glaive throwers, archers, quill beast, beast master um, in the front line, or maybe even a goblin alchemist to, to provide a bit of healing. Huntress, Moonglaive now unlocks with Tree of Ages. Sentinel is researched by Wow. So Huntresses are gonna be able to use um use Sent Sentinel immediately. That's going to be good. Mountain Giant. Decreased cost. That is significant drop. Um, Mountain Giants are going to be extremely useful now with a 75 gold drop in cost. That's what, 15%? A little bit? Decreased supply. That's big too, even though they keep the same stats. Hippogriff Training is researched by default. So that means that um, archers are going to be able to ride Hippogriffs immediately. And the Hippogriff Riders have increased hit points. Wow, Night Elf has some big changes. Ancient of Wars, reduced hit points, reduced attack. Okay, uh, remove the Sentinel. Okay, Ancient of Wind. All right. Uh, Ancient Protector, reduced build time. All right, decreased rooted attack cooldown. So it attacks... We decrease up, uprooted attack. Okay, so they attack faster. Moonwell. Increased mana regeneration at night. Yeah, that was needed. Moonwells got dry very quickly. And now a Chimera. So no longer requires Ancient of Wind, so you can build it straight up. Purge. Reduce damage to summon units. Boots of Speed now have a stock of two. So you cannot buy the pairs of shoes and deny it from your opponent. Wow, wow, wow. Um, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.